Good afternoon. My name is Anders Jansson. I'm the commercial director of Core Power, and Core Power are developing and selling wave energy converter. And why this is so interesting is because the oceans are the largest untapped energy resource that we have. The numbers you come up with are somewhere between 10 and 20 percent of our total global energy consumption need. So obviously, if you can convert either flowing energy or wave motions or heat in the oceans into energy, there is a significant resource available. We're currently focused on the European market, so the Atl Atlantic coast with Portugal, Scotland, Ireland, and England, and France. Um, but there are significant interest in other areas of the world as well. Now, wave energy is not new. It's been around for a long time. So what does that mean? Well, it means that it's really hard to do because the oceans is one of the harshest environments there is. And there are several reasons why we haven't succeeded yet. Um, one of them is that we haven't used the right materials. We haven't focused on the core physics of how to make it cost effective. And this is where core power changes the complete landscape. Our power plant works in resonance when every incoming wave. And that means like if you're having a radio and you haven't tuned in the right channel, you don't hear anything. But as soon as you tune it in, you get a very nice sound coming out. Or if you put it as a swing. If you're pushing a swing with a child on, or an adult, uh, if you put it, push it in the right time, you get acceleration. If you put it in the wrong time, you take away the energy. And we can control that motion, and therefore we can survive the fiercest storm, but we can also accelerate the velocity of every incoming wave, and therefore we get some really, really interesting metrics. So when our technology has been compared with other wave energy converter, we get three times more energy per ton force, or more than five times energy per ton. And material ton means capital cost, but it also means OPEX, because when you go offshore, you need a vessel. And the more ton you need to transport, the larger vessel you have. So if you can have a small vessel, that also decreases your operational expenditures. So we are sort of in the middle of our development roadmap. We are following a very structured development roadmap. Uh, one of the reasons also why we haven't succeeded is because it has been a race where people have been running too fast. So you're putting out products into a very harsh environment that has not been tested. So what we have done, we have built the most advanced uh, hardware in the loop rig, where we can simulate waves up to 30 meters. And today we are producing electricity in Stockholm in this hill rig. We will take this power plant to Stock uh, Scotland during the summer and install it in one of the toughest environments that exist in Europe. The next stage is to go out to full scale in 2019, and in 2022, that's a primary goal and, and focus, and that is when we reach a bankable product. All you guys from the utility side, uh, you know the bankability is, is, is core. You need to be able to underwrite the product, you need to have warranties, and you need to be able to insure it. And that is also something that we have changed. Rather than going to volumes, if you install 10 devices and that means that you could have 10 problems if you install three devices. It's easier. So following this structured roadmap that has been developed by the industry, the International Energy Association, so on, uh, is helping us to gain the traction that we have. We're looking into four different areas in Europe at the moment. It's EMIP up in Scotland, WaveHub in Wales, uh, WaveHub in Cornwall, and Algosadora in Portugal. And the reason why we have identified this is because they have test sites, so there's grid available, there's local funding available, and there's a supply chain with experience to do installations and service and maintenance. So we're currently raising one and a half million euros, uh, and that will be closed no later than Q3 this year. And this will give us extra financial strength because we are in negotiations now with the European Investment Bank, local funding sources such as ERDF, EU funding, uh, Swedish Energy Agency and so on, to bring together a consortium of a 45 million euro package. And this will be closed by Q1 next year. And it's a large sum, but only about 20 to 25 percent will actually be equity. So as an investor, you get an extreme hedge of that money. And there is 
uh, a clear sort of route to exit in 2022 when then we have this bankable product. So why will we succeed with this ambitious plan? Well, we will have the most effective power plant in, uh, in the world by the end of this year. We have four countries actually fighting over our local presence. And we have European Investment Bank who has a committed program for wave and, and marine energy. And we have Iberdrola, EDP, Simply Blue, and Waven in Scotland, who we are collaborating with. So we already have customers on board. And we have a very dedicated team. So I have a 12 years experience in marine energy with a successful company, which I listed on the First North in 2015. Uh, and we have engineers coming from Alstom Tidal, from Scott Renewables Tidal, and Lockheed Martin. So for that reason, I think we have a really good chance to actually being able to untap the magnificent resource of wave energy. Thank you.